The Shenyang J50, also known by its internal designation JXDS, is being aggressively promoted by Chinese state media as a revolutionary step into sixth-generation fighter aircraft technology. Portrayed as a pure arrival to next-generation platforms developed elsewhere, the J-50 is claimed to represent a dramatic leap in stealth, speed, AI integration, and multi-role capabilities. However, when the available facts are separated from the politically driven narrative, the picture that emerges is one of significant technical uncertainty, poor transparency, limited real-world progress, and strategic overstatement. Rather than being a true breakthrough, the J-50 may ultimately serve as a high-visibility example of military propaganda wrapped in the language of innovation. From its initial appearance in late 2024, the J-50 was surrounded by carefully orchestrated publicity. It was publicly revealed just before the end of the year in a controlled rollout over populated areas, with high-resolution images and videos quickly distributed through China's media apparatus. These releases featured specific flight angles, close-ups of its airframe, and promotional renderings. However, aerospace analysts immediately noted a pattern, the aircraft's unveiling coincided with political anniversaries and was framed more as a statement of power than as part of a systematic test program. This aligns with a recurring trend in China's defense media strategy, where symbolic hardware is showcased for domestic and geopolitical signaling long before its actual functionality is established. Technically, the J-50's design presents several red flags. Its tailless delta configuration with large lambda wings and movable wingtips is visually distinctive and may offer improved agility or reduced radar cross-section in theory. But in practice, stealth technology depends on precision shaping, materials, and systems integration, areas where China has struggled for decades. The most glaring issue is the aircraft's engine and exhaust system. The exposed nozzles and visible heat management surfaces contradict any claim of advanced stealth. In operational low observable aircraft, infrared signature management is a top design priority. With no evidence of thermal shielding, serrated nozzles, or nozzle shrouds, the J-50's design suggests that stealth optimization remains incomplete or purely cosmetic. The aircraft's intakes also suggest basic limitations. Diverterless supersonic intakes DSIs, while useful for reducing moving parts and radar signature, must be perfectly shaped to maintain airflow at different speeds and angles of attack. Analysts reviewing footage and satellite imagery have noted that the J-50's intake placement and geometry appear overly simplistic and may not support high-speed performance without engine choking or instability at high angles. This points to the possibility that the design is either not fully functional or has not been stress-tested at combat-relevant performance levels. One of the most serious concerns involves the J-50's propulsion system. China's efforts to build an indigenous, high-thrust, low-observable fighter engine have been plagued with issues. The much-publicized WS-15 engine project has faced delays, overheating problems, and difficulty maintaining thrust in prolonged flight. If the J-50 is using an experimental version of this engine, or an even earlier generation substitute like the WS-10, it cannot be considered combat-ready. Engine performance directly affects every aspect of fighter capability, including speed, payload, fuel range, climb rate, and maneuverability. Without a mature and reliable power plant, the aircraft's operational promises are fundamentally hollow. Compounding these hardware issues is the total absence of verified onboard systems. There is no open source evidence that the J-50 possesses the kind of advanced avionics, AI-enabled decision support systems, or sensor fusion required for next-generation air combat. While official articles have mentioned AI integration and autonomous teaming capabilities, there has been no demonstration or proof. These are complex technologies requiring years of research, simulation, and field testing, something that cannot be rushed or faked. Independent observers have noted that many of the sensors visible on the J-50's frame are either mock-ups or appear in inconsistent configurations across different images, raising doubts about whether these systems are operational or just design placeholders. Further undermining the credibility of the J-50 program is the complete lack of a visible development pipeline. As of mid-2025, only one prototype has been confirmed. There are no public reports of low-rate initial production, no sightings of supporting logistics infrastructure, no statements from procurement authorities, and no indication of cross-service testing or adoption planning. All known flight activity has occurred near its factory of origin, and there is no evidence of the aircraft undergoing testing in adverse environments or high-stress flight scenarios. This suggests the program is still in a demonstration or concept validation phase and far from becoming an actual military asset. Despite these gaps, 
Chinese media continues to promote the J-50 as a disruptive game-changer in global airpower. Articles exaggerate its capabilities, calling it the most powerful fighter ever designed, while offering no supporting data. These media narratives serve a strategic purpose, to influence public perception within China, bolster national pride, and present a facade of technological parity with more advanced military powers. But without production-ready systems, validated trials, or third-party assessments, the J-50 remains a hollow claim rather than a credible threat. It is also worth noting the inconsistency of information released through official sources. Basic performance specifications, such as speed, combat radius, weapons payload, and radar range, are either undisclosed or vary widely between reports. This confusion often indicates that a project is not yet technically stable. When aerospace programs are mature, developers publish detailed specifications and support them with test data. In contrast, the J-50's public narrative is heavy on adjectives and nationalistic language, but light on test results and engineering specifics. There is a deeper strategic risk in this type of inflated defense marketing. By presenting an unfinished and possibly flawed aircraft as a complete, groundbreaking system, China's leadership may be misleading its own military command structure and setting unrealistic expectations for deployment timelines and battlefield performance. If internal planners begin to factor an unproven platform into operational readiness models, it could lead to overconfidence and miscalculations in a conflict scenario. The illusion of strength can be just as dangerous as actual weakness, especially when paired with high-level political ambition. In the final analysis, the Shenyang J-50 JXDS represents more of a political tool than a military one. Its existence serves China's narrative of technological ascendancy and serves as a symbol of ambition. But ambition alone does not produce effective weapon systems. Until the aircraft completes rigorous testing, proves its capabilities across multiple flight profiles, enters serial production, and is evaluated under independent conditions, it remains speculative. The facts do not support the claims. The design is unproven, the systems unverified, and the operational utility untested. Rather than being a leap forward in airpower, the J-50 is, at this point, a highly visible example of military propaganda outpacing reality.